there, my name is Dave Blake from EGD and in this video we're going to be talking about the inputs and outputs on the MC800, what they are and their properties. Okay, so going from left to right with these inputs, uh, we've got the mains going in to the live neutral earth, uh, we've got a second earth, earth block on there as well for your, mo earth, your motors, uh, we've got a mains output for your flashing lamp and then you've got your motor 1 and motor 2 terminal connections. Note these have been completely separated from the low voltage side of things so you've got your incoming um, mains, mains terminals and your incoming for your motor connections and anything live will go on this side. Um, then we've got the uh, outputs and inputs so first two of which will be your electric strike lock so terminals one and two there so that will send a momentary pulse out to an electric lock uh, that's, uh, that's on your gate. Um, then you've got uh, terminals three and four which is your negative, so zero volt for negative, and then your 24 volt positive on terminal four. But terminal four does double up as the common as well for some of your other contacts, which I'll come to in a sec. Uh, then we've got terminal five, which is your uh, uh, courtesy lamp output, and then six and seven, which is your blue bus input for your photocells, keypads, and other blue bus devices. Moving on to the next terminal block here, you can see we've got auxiliary inputs here, aux 1, aux 2, aux 3, aux 4, and these are for, um, the, by default, this panel is set up to have them set to as limit, switch, limit switches. However, you can set these up so that they monitor relay photocells, and I'll come to that when we come to the programming. The next input is for your stop input. Now, the stop input is a... Uh, an input that can monitor three types, so it can monitor normally open, normally closed, and 8.2k ohm resistance. It can actually monitor twice that load of resistance at 4.1k ohms. So what that means is that you can parallel two end of line safety edges into the one input across the stop and the common. And then finally we've got 13, 14 and 15, which is your SBS, which is step by step, which can open, stop and close from the same input. Then you've got open, which is your open command input, which can open, stop, then re and open again. And then your close input, uh, which is rarely used because there's not that often that you want to send a, just a close, co close only command, but that does close, stop, close. So those are the main inputs and outputs of this panel. Um, you may see there are some other inputs as well. For instance, this uh, uh, is the antenna input, so if you wanted to fit this into a steel cabinet and you wanted to extend the range on your transmitters, uh, you can hardwire a, a 433 MHz tuned antenna back to this position here. Um, you'll also see a, a, port, a couple of ports on here, uh, which is one labelled the I, IBT4N, that's for your OVU and uh, other compatible devices, and uh, then this one in the centre here is for your radio receiver. So that summarises all of the inputs and outputs on the MC800 control panel. Stay up to date in all the industry news and uh, for the latest offers that we have, uh, please follow us on social media. And for any further inquiries at all, please contact us on the details below.